What's up, guys? It's TechnoViking23 coming to you today with some Destiny. And we're actually going to be doing kind of a different video today. What I'm going to be doing here is I actually found, finally got an exotic weapon bounty on PlayStation 4 on my Warlock. So I now have the Tolan's Journal. Basically, this is the, the uh, exotic bounty for the Bad Juju Pulse Rifle, which I wanted to get. And uh, the first part of that is you have to do a weekly strike. And then it gives you the next step, which is you basically have to run 25 strikes in order to um, in order to get the next step. So what I'm going to do, I've already done five of these. I am actually going to do the next 20 in a row on Vanguard Dragon, which is the new uh, level 28 Vanguard playlist. Now, this playlist has been dropping me a ton of really nice gear. It's been giving out a lot of purple engrams, uh, legendary actual armor pieces and weapons that I've seen drop for a lot of people. So I think the reward system has improved quite a bit with both the strikes and also when you get into the Crucible. But what I'm basically going to do, guys, is I'm going to run 20 of these strikes, and I'm not going to make you watch all 20, obviously, but I am going to just record the little 15, 20 second snippets at the end of each strike where it shows the loot drops for everybody on the team, and we're going to see if we can get any cool gear. So if you guys just stay tuned for a little bit, you'll be able to see the results of all 20 strikes. We're kind of doing this for science just to see if we get anything. Hopefully we'll get some, some cool stuff, maybe a hawk moon. That would, that would be just amazing. Uh, I doubt it very seriously, but hopefully we'll at least get some legendary engrams and a few legendary weapons and maybe even some ships and see what drops for everybody else. So anyways, guys, stay tuned. I uh, hope you stick around to watch the rest of this, and I will be back towards the end of the video. Thanks for watching, guys. All right, guys, I'm back now. After we have just bum-rushed through 20 Dragon playlist strikes on the Vanguard playlist, 
Uh, hopefully you guys saw some of the loot there. We got lucky a few times, got some decent drops, but overall, uh, kind of disappointing, really. I did not get one legendary engram, uh, and only a couple of legendaries that dropped. I did get another Patience in Time. That that's, seems to be my exotic on PlayStation 4. That is actually the fourth Patience in Time I've had drop. I've had two drop from Prison of Elders, and then one from engram, and one from uh, Dragon Strikes now, so... That seems to be my exotic for PS4, which is funny because I can never get it on Xbox. So, very odd. Anyways, we did finish the bad juju, so we can hand in Tolan's journal, and we will get the next step, which is going to be go kill a bunch of people in Crucible. Basically, you got to score 10,000 points in the Crucible in order to complete that. Actually, we might have to buy something from Xur first. I'm trying to remember. If that's the case, I know i got to take it to the gunsmith, and then I think he's going to make me go spend a coin at Zur, which is good because Zur is still here for a couple more hours, so I might be able to actually get this done this evening. Yeah, we got that'll that'll be one strange coin from Zur. Anyways, guys, so um, let's take a look at what I did manage to get in those 20 strikes. A little bit more in-depth. I actually put everything in the vault as I was going through, so you guys could see the results now. I did get 38 blue engrams. So we're going to actually decode those here in a minute and see what those turn into. Um, I did get one ship, the Vintage Russian Soul. I actually have one of these already. This giant green monstrosity. So that dropped in one of them. Uh, I believe the Blood Pack Shader dropped in another. And the rest of that stuff I already had. So let's take a look at... Let's look at the armor first. Now that uh, Crest of Alpha Lupi actually got that from Zur. That's not from the strike. So we got the Unity Clade uh, Leg Armor which has more hand cannon ammunition, but it is a discipline strength roll, which is not that great. I'd rather it was discipline and intellect. Then I might actually keep these, but I think I'm probably just going to shard those for a mode of light. Uh, I did get a some Titan armor, which is good because I'm leveling up my Titan. And one thing I always like to do is when I have one character that's leveled all the way and the other two I'm still leveling up is when I do play these uh, Vanguard strikes, I try to save as much of the blue armor as possible because you can see there's light level 26, which actually isn't bad. If you, you get a full set of that, you can be pretty high level as soon as you hit level 20 with your titan so i always try to have a spare set of armor already in the vault for my extra coming up characters now let's talk about the weapons of course there is the patience and time we got another one uh, that dropped this is a pretty good sniper it's one of my favorite weapons i'm just enjoying having this exotic since i didn't get it ever in xbox but it's pretty decent it's got third eye uh, custom optics fitted stock field scout in patience and time, you get active camo when you aim down the sights. I usually use third eye and field scout are pretty, probably the best two perks. There. This is a pretty good perk, but as soon as you shoot or move, you lose that camo. So I wish it lasted a little bit longer, but still a decent exotic. I'm probably going to wind up sharding that. Now I did get two of these. This is the Doom Echo uh, 11. And this was actually a reward you could get from the Vanguard Rock Strikes before. So probably going to just get rid of both of these. It'd be weapon parts, got life support. Speed reload and fitted stock. This actually is not a bad sniper. Um, if you if you have to make do with if you don't have a legendary, some of these blue snipers that drop from the Vanguard strikes are not bad. And this this is the other one that I got here. This is also a solar one. It's got private eye. Optical zoom length is increased while crouch. Huh, that's interesting. I think that's new. I haven't seen that before. And this one's got explosive rounds. Quick draw. So those will probably both become weapon parts. And I also got this. Rare fusion rifle, feudal gesture. Not a huge fusion rifle user that much anymore. This has got surplus, find more ammo for this weapon. And accelerated coils was actually not a bad perk to get on a rare fusion rifle. Uh, so this is this would be serviceable if I didn't have anything else. But I've already got a, I think it's called Snake Bit Surgeon. I've already got a, a legendary fusion rifle that came from a Crucible playlist. So probably uh, that'll probably become weapon parts. Also, now we got problem 78F. I also believe this could drop before in the Vanguard Rock Strikes. This is an auto rifle, low impact, high rate of fire auto rifle. Actually has decent stability. Uh, still not a huge fan of these type of auto rifles. Uh, this has got unflinching, which would be decent in PvP. And fitted stocks, this would be pretty high stability. The problem is with these high rate of fire auto rifles, you really need a big magazine. This one's only got a 24 round magazine, so not that great. We'll probably end up turning that into weapon parts. Now, I did get a couple legendaries. I got another Loader Rebel, which is a great hand cannon. I was talking about this in my other video. I love this hand cannon. So I have two of them. I don't know. I might keep this one and give it to my hunter so that they'll have one as well. And this one looks to have a pretty good 
actual, this is a, the roll that I got when it dropped. You got Icarus for improved accuracy while airborne, which, I don't you know, if you jump around a lot, that might be okay. This has got speed reload, explosive rounds, and braced frame, so you get the big stability boost, but a little bit lower magazine. And then this has also got luck in the chamber, so I may actually keep that roll and, like I said, give this one to my hunter to use. And then I also got the High Road Soldier. Now, this is a scout rifle I have not seen before. This is a new legendary uh, scout rifle. It's got that huge barrel. It looks like a big silencer on the end of it. That actually has kind of a neat design. I kind of like that. So I may hang on to this. And then this is the roll it came with uh, dropping from the strike. We've got triple tap, rapid landing, precision hits will return one round to your magazine. We've got quick draw, armor piercing rounds, uh, reinforced barrel, which is not bad. And then Outlaw. So this is actually not a bad roll default off, uh, you know, right out of the drop. So we make, I'll probably keep this. I'll give this to my hunter as well. Let, let them try it out. Um, you know, I've got my Fang of ur -Ute, which is my favorite sniper rifle right now. So that's pretty much it in terms of all that. So let's go ahead. We're going to take all these engrams, if I can fit them. I don't know if I'll be able to fit all of them into my inventory right, right away here. But we're going to take all these engrams, and we're going to go and decode them. Now this is 38, 38 blue engrams, so it's going to be interesting to see what we get. I hope maybe at least some of these will turn into a purple, and if not, then maybe we can get a bunch of strange coins and most of light. So let's take, okay, we don't have enough space, so we'll have to probably come back and do the rest of these later. See, I got a bunch of weaponing. I hope some, at least one or two of these turns into a new legendary. That would be really cool, but with my luck, I doubt it, but we'll see. All right, I think we've got all those. We'll come back and get these other ones. And I'm hoping this, maybe at least this will give me a Cryptarch package that I can level up. And uh, who is that over there? Oh, that's Zer. Okay. So that'll maybe this will give me a Cryptarch package that we can open and maybe get some legendary engrams. We'll see here. Just gonna exchange some glimmer things from running all those strikes. Oh, well, there we go. Right off the bat, and get some purple warlock gloves. <laughs> Not bad. Uh, Nothing. Come on, give me some boats of light or something at least. He knows that I want those because I need to buy a couple more things from Zer before Zer leaves. Okay, there's one. So that's why he's not giving me anything. Just all, there's another one. Just pretty much got lucky on that first one, and then it's all been downhill since. All right, strange coin. These are all pretty much just your run-of-the-mill, basic, crappy blue blue items. But we did get a level with the Crypt Arc. Let me uh, make some room here real quick, guys, with these. And then I can grab uh, those other ones that I've got. Like I said, I need lots of weapon parts anyways. That's good, because I've got a couple of weapons that I'm actually trying to level up. My Hunger of Crota and my Fang of Uryut, so I do need a bunch of these weapon parts. We're just going to go ahead and dismantle all these. So you got a bunch of class items we don't need either. So we'll get a bunch of material there. Also, get rid of all these. I was hoping it would at least give me some Titan and Hunter stuff so my other two characters would have something when they level up, but I guess not. All right, so we're dismantling everything, basically. Let's see, we got those new Apex Harmonic. Let's see what these look like. And there's Strength Roll, which uh, I don't like. Discipline Strength. And also Reload Speed of Hand Cannons, which I would normally use, but like I said, I don't, I'm don't. i not a big Strength Roll person, so that will become a mode of light. Yeah, I don't know if that's an equivalent exchange anymore. You know, you used to get two to three um, Ascendant Shards when you would dismantle legendaries now you get one mode of light i don't know if that's really a fair trade <laughs> it should give you more i think personally but that's just me Guardian. all right so let's see here i got some more engrams let's see we got one we have four primary i'm gonna have to put some stuff in the, in the vault so we can fit all that in there all right so that should give me four slots there a couple more secondary engrams. So if we're lucky, maybe we'll get two levels with the Crypt Arc, but I don't know. I don't know. Alright, let's see. Give me a purple. Nope. Strange coin. A couple of... A couple more useless blue items. Which 
we will dismantle and then we will go see if he gave me anything decent. I hope he gives me a... I would really like to get a legendary primary and then have it turn into Hawk Moon. <laughs> but hey, beggars can't be choosers, right? Alright, so we got a Crypt Dark package. Two blues, of course. God, what a... That happens to me every time. I never get purples in my packages. It's always two legendaries, or I'm sorry, two crappy rares. And two more pieces of blue crap. So here we go. All right, so really nothing great there. That was, you guys just saw 38 blue engrams. We got one purple out of all those. So terrible luck with RNG again. Story of my life with destiny. So anyways, I'm going to go to Xur, and I'm going to trade in that strange coin and get the rest of my bad juju bounty, and then I'll have to get 10,000 points worth of kills in the Crucible, so that's good, because I can work on that during Iron Banner next week. That'll be pretty easy to take care of. So let's just grab that there. And now we've got our darkness-infused weapon frame. So anyways, guys, if you hung around for this long, I appreciate it. I uh, just... Uh, I don't know, I ran, that was 20 Vanguard Dragon Strikes real quick, and uh, not sure if it was worth it. We did get a couple Legendary Drops, we did get Patience and Time, but overall, not real sure if it was worth it, as none of those Engrams turned into anything good. We at least, uh, you know, I guess we did get a Crypt Arc level out of it, so that's about it. Anyways, guys, appreciate you sticking around and watching the video. Um, you know, leave any comments if you want below, and I'll see you again next time.